Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. In today's video, we're going to do another mechanical design and analysis section problem, specifically under part D, springs. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, now before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that we have recently created a PDF that has all the FE problems that we have shared with you guys here in our channel. Now we did include the answer and then also the YouTube link in case you get the wrong answer and you want to watch the full solution. So if you guys are interested in that PDF file, you can download it here. And then also if you're not familiar with our courses, I just want to mention that we do have courses that could help you pass your FE exam. So make sure that you guys check them out and I'm going to talk more about courses at the end of this video in case you guys are interested. A helical compression spring is to be designed for a mechanical valve mechanism. The spring should be made with hard drawn wire with a wire diameter of 0.75 inches and mean coil diameter of 1.25 inches. The spring should have plain ends with a total of 16 coils. The valve mechanism requires the spring to have a free length of 10 inches to achieve the necessary range of motion and we want to determine the solid length of the spring. So to solve for this problem, what you guys need to do is go to the reference handbook and look for the equation. So it's under mechanical engineering and in it's in the spring section. OK, so there you are giving tables and equations and you find the equation for the solid length. And then also take a moment, spend some time on the reference handbook, get yourself familiar with those equations and concepts, because it's very important that you guys do that. It's going to help you to solve these problems faster. OK, so. Why don't you guys go ahead and pause this video, give it a try, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So to determine the solid length of the spring, what we're going to do, guys, is go to this table here and look for the equation, okay? Now, this table, we use it depending on the type of spring ends. And if you guys remember in the problem, we have plain ends, right? So which means we're going to take a look at this column here, okay? And we want to determine the solid length. So LS is going to be equal to this, okay? So let's go ahead and write the equation down. Now let's go ahead and plug in the numbers. So here D, that's the wire diameter. So notice guys, we were giving two diameters. This diameter here, we're not going to use, okay? And this is common on the FE exam where they would give you guys extra variables that you don't really need to use to solve for the problem. And they do that just to throw you off, okay? And this is why it's very important that you guys understand these equations, understand the concepts, okay? And that's what we actually do in our courses. And that's why our students pass the FE exam faster, okay? So now let's go ahead and plug in the 0 0.75. And then we're gonna multiply by NT. So that's going to be the total number of coils, which is 16 and then plus one, okay? And now if you guys plug these numbers in your calculator, you're gonna get 12.75 inches. So now if you take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be B, okay? So this is how we solve these type of problems, guys. Now I do recommend that you guys go to the reference handbook, take a look at the spring section. You are giving a lot of equations and tables, so take your time and go over those concepts and those equations. And of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share our channel with your friends that are trying to pass the FE exam. It really helps our channel out immensely. And this way we can create more content for you guys, bring in more FE problems and share more tips to help you guys pass your FE exam. And then maybe even the PE in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as I mentioned guys in the beginning if you are interested in FE course make sure that you guys check out our courses where we cover a lot of concepts and we do a lot of problems so for every problem we solve it in a video format and I show you guys all the steps just like we do here in our channel so and also our courses are lifetime access you can study anytime anywhere you want take as much time as you need to prepare for the FE exam and our courses has helped many students pass the FE exam now thank you guys for watching I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine oh, yeah.